Hey legends and welcome back to another episode. A um, bit of a different episode this one. I thought I'd show you how I tie up my beach rig um, for the sinker trace. I use 60 pound black magic fluoro carbon. Um, very good look, uh, fishing line this stuff. I think it's very tough. Um, it says tough fluoro carbon and, and yeah, I've had, I've caught some fish on it and the the line's been pretty chafed up, but it's, it's never failed me yet. I think it's pretty strong stuff, so yeah, I'm happy with it, so I keep using it. But anyway, all I do with the start of the top of the um, line, I do a double loop knot. Just a simple knot. Very simple knot, but once again, it's never failed me, so I'll keep using it. it. Hasn't failed me once yet. Yeah, so double loop knot up the top, then probably 20 centimetres down, I'll do another double loop. Like so. Bit of spit on all the knots. And I use one of these basic um, Halco swivel and I put the loop through one end of the swivel and then over the top of the over the top of it and then pull the loop back tight on that so yeah that's the that's the basic start of the um, sinker trace got the loop up the top which goes to the main a swivel goat comes on the main line to that and then the hook tr hook trace comes off of this and that swivel is just simply for stopping line twist but yeah then we move on to the um, sinker trace which is the 80 pound black magic fluorocarbon I use a um, this one's an 8 0. They're, they're the 10 0s there, but um, that's the BKK red octopus beaked hooks. That's the 10 0s there, but yeah, I use an 8 0 for the bottom hook. And all I simply do with this is put the line through it like that and then make a loop. Just make a simple loop like that. Hold the loop with that thumb and finger and wrap back up the shaft of the hook that way six or seven times and then you skate put that in end of that line back through that that loop bit of spit on the knot and then just pull this one through. Tight, just grab the end of the knot there and pull it tight like that. Make sure you don't, make sure you got good hold on the hook so it doesn't go through your finger. But yeah, that's the bottom hook anyway. Next hook, the 10 you feed back up through the hook. And you bring it down to where you want it. I normally put it a bit of a gap there in between the hooks. And also I'll give you another tip. When you're making up your hooks, think about if you've gone and bought bait and your pilchers are a certain size or your baby squid a certain size or fish or whatever, you think about that's the size and then make your hooks accordingly. Oh, there I go, I didn't even show you how to do that but it just I just simply put the line through there and then wrapped it back down the shaft this time six or seven times and then end of the line back through the hook hole of the hook bit of spit and pull it tight and I just grab the bottom hook and the 
second hook and pull like that. Pull that knot tight as you can, like so. And we get the third knot, the third hook, I'm sorry. And we put that one straight back through. This is how I did the second one. Straight through the hook there like that. Once again, hold the line like so. Bit of a gap there. Wrap the line down. Shaft six or seven times. Back through the hook hole. Spit and pull tight. Make sure they're nice and tight. Pull it up. And once again, don't put the hook through your finger. Make sure you got good grip on the hooks. And we get this glow bead here, which you get from a fair few tackle shops have them. I got these from um, BCF, I think it was. But yeah, that just goes straight on down to the top hook. Down on top of the top hook. Then all I do is a another double loop knot here. And I normally make the trace about 20, 25 centimetres long. Bit of double loop, loop knot there again. I use that double loop a lot because, yeah, she once again, she never fails me. Strong knot, I think. Caught plenty of big fish on this trace and never had one fail me. So, yeah, make sure that double loop's nice and tight. Cut off the end bit. And the hooks as well. And you just simply get this swivel here, put the end of the double loop through the hole, and then put the hooks back through the loop and the glow bead, of course, and then you just pull tight on the swivel hold a bit of tension on it there for a bit and this 80 pound trace seems to hold better than the 60 pound for some reason I'm not sure why but yeah just like that so yeah that's what we got so far we got the double leaf up the top Another double loop there with a swivel off, a hook trace off the swivel. Then I just simply hold the trace, sink the trace down like that. And I normally leave around about a foot, leave it so the bottom hook's about a foot from the sinker. And another double loop there. And I like to um, leave that foot gap there between the sinker and the hooks because I think I think that helps like for crabs and like keep the I know the crabs it doesn't stop the crabs from getting your bait but I think it makes it more difficult for them so yeah probably don't eat your bait out as fast. But yeah, I'll leave a, um, about a foot below the hooks, another double loop, and I'll put a swivel on that, once again a stop line twist, just put the hook through the swivel and then pull it back through, pull tight like that. I use, I like to use six ounce grapple sinkers. Um, I've tried using the um, 
breakaway sinkers, but they they never seem to hold properly for me. I like to use these grapple sinkers because I like to keep a good bend in the rod because I think the tidier line is less chance you got a missing a, a good bite. Yeah, that just goes onto the swivel there. And that bottom swivel stops more line twist. And um, yeah, there we have the finished product. I don't know whether you should be able to see that most of that in the in the camera, but uh, I've used this trace for a lot of years now, and yeah, my fishing just seems to get better. And as for the um, glow bead, I think glow bead has improved my fishing. Um, it really has. Um, my catches have. Um, definitely picked up since I started using them for so for those that think that glow beads don't work well I um, beg to differ I think they work very well I think um, the glow bead is like a reflection from a fish that the uh, mull away and sharks and that see see a flash of light in the water and they come over to check it out and they see some nice very edible bait there for them to eat and they chomp it uh, that's the way i see it anyway but yeah that's my um that's the trace that i've been using for many years um and these bkk i only started using these bkk for probably oh about a year now i think maybe a bit more and yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. Well, I've used other hooks um, and they seem to rust faster and, and get blunt faster. So I think these are really good hooks for the for beach fishing. Um, very happy with them. So I'll keep yeah, using like them. This, I was actually thinking about making a, um, a video about my um, estuary rigs, the uh, bait, my bait rig I use and in the live bait rig so tell me what you think in the comments if you like these sort of videos um i'll do more but yeah um i'm actually going to have an operation again second time around tomorrow so yeah I might be out of action for a bit bit, bit of time but uh, hopefully i'll be back into it before too long um, I'll, I've made up a short reel of um, some of the fish that I've caught on this rig to, to show you that, yeah, she, this rig works. I've caught plenty of mulloway on it, plenty of sharks. Um, and I keep forgetting to say, don't forget to uh, check me out on Facebook. I've got a Facebook page and Instagram, Toddy's Mulloway Addiction. So check them out if you want to follow me on them want to check out my merch i'll put a link in the description but yeah thanks for watching legends and uh check out this short reel of um fish i've caught on this rig cheers you big head shakes 82 they gotta be i'll get her back First fish of the night, second bait. Unbelievable, have a look at that. Five hours between fish. Ooh, what have we got? Some big head shakes. Have a look at that. Persistence paid off. This is a really big fish. That is a beast. Beautiful. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Just Ooh, heavy. Yeah. My God, what have I got on here? Have a look at that, 101 centimetres. Have a look at that, 75 centimetre fish. Look at that, good fish. Set it up on the drone. Oh, this is a good salmon. Have a look at that. Have a look at that. 
good one. Well, have a look at that. Have a look at that, 105 centimetre gummy. Nice fish. Got a good, good gummy. 101 centimetres. Too. Wow. Nothing beats it, I reckon. Catch a big motorway on the beach. Wow, big head shake. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is big. Have a look at that. That is huge. Oh yeah, it's a good fish, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that beast of a fish. Oh, what have we got? Some big head shakes. Eww! Gotta be happy with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, that's a big fish. Whoa, big head shakes. Have a look at that, legends. Have a look at that, you bunch of legends. This, this is why we fish. Big head shakes. This is a very good fish. Oh yeah, big head shakes. Have a look at this, legends. I said I, if I got a big gear tonight, I'd tag and release her. So that's what I'm doing. Let's go. Yeah, I'm liking that. Pretty Do good run. Well, I'm into something good here. Wow. Yeah, I've tag. I reckon this is like the. 12th gummy I've tagged or something. Whoa, this is a good fish. This is a very good fish. Oh yeah, big head shakes. Hey legends, have a look at that. What a fish. Oh, just, can it get any better, I tell you what. Oh, she's a good fish too. You ripper. See Got to get her back. Eww! Have a look at that. Get another bait out. Eww! Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. Wow. Wow. Gee, big girl. Tag, another tag and release. How awesome is that? Oh yeah. Oh, this could be a mully. Or another big gummy. Have a look at this, legends. This keeps getting better. Whoa, eat the head shakes. Eww. Have a look at that. Gotta get it back. Eww. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. You.